I love this church. To be part of a community of friends on mission with Jesus is the greatest privilege in life. There is life in this church, there is genuine faith, and there are authentic relationships. We are experiencing a move of God, and I'm excited about the future and what it holds in God. With forward movement comes change, and we need to be willing as a people to embrace change if we're going to keep moving forward with God. And there are some exciting practical changes that are going to be taking place in our environment in the next few weeks. I'm excited to announce that we are changing the name of the church. This is something that we've had on our hearts for the past three years. And we believe God has given us a name that will speak prophetically of our new season and declare something powerful of God's heart for people. We are called to preach the gospel of Jesus and disciple the nations. And we believe our new name will resonate with the churched and the unchurched alike as we go forward in doing all that God has called us to do. A new name may sound strange and hard to get used to at first. But as we begin to live out that name, and as we build a reputation as a church in the community, that is what will attach meaning to our new name. As Proverbs 22 verse 1 says, A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, loving favor rather than silver and gold. And when Paul speaks about the qualifications of leaders in the New Testament, he speaks about having a favorable reputation. So the goal for us is not to find the perfect name that will draw people to us or gain us favor, but rather our goal is to build a favorable reputation with our name simply encapsulating that reputation and the mission that God has called us to. We must also remember that we don't write off our past history with God, but we take our past history and it becomes a launch pad into the future that really is from glory to glory. Emmanuel Community Church served us so well for the first 20 years of our church's existence. Gates of Praise Church has served us so well for the past 15 years. And we are looking forward to a wonderful future ahead with a name that has amazing testimonies and God's stories attached to it. So, let's introduce you to the new name. Everybody is looking for freedom. At the core of every human being is the desire to be free. It's the way God made us. We are made in His image and He is free. So we long to be free. The world longs to be free. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the good news that Jesus came to save us from death and give us life. We are set free from sin, shame, and death, and given a new identity as sons and daughters of God, free to live as God designed us to live. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. True freedom is only found in Christ. He is the only way to life. He is the gate. We are a church that preaches the gospel we are an authentic community of believers who are loved by God and love each other. And we are showing the world who Jesus is. We have found freedom and we want the world to find that freedom. We are Freedom Gate Church. beautiful church. You get to hear the new name of the church, uh, something that God's been birthing in our hearts over the last few years. Uh, we are so excited for it. We're so excited for what it means and uh, what the name carries behind it. Um, I just want to share this verse in line with the new name that you've chosen from Galatians 1 verse 5. Let me be clear. The anointed one has set us free, not partially, but completely and wonderfully free. We must always cherish this truth and stubbornly refuse to go back into the bondage of our past. What an incredible truth that Christ has come to set us free 
and we look forward to the, the, the future um, as we step into this new season as a church. What an exciting moment to be part of such a transitional season in the life of our church where we are changing the name of our church and we're not just doing it for now, but we're building into legacies. Ten years down the line, people will remember this day. We changed the name of our church to Freedom Gates. I'm excited. Are you? I am so excited. I'm old school. I don't like changes. <laughs> I like to stay the way I was. But um, when I heard the, the new name, it, it's like excitement grew up in me because I knew because uh, the meaning, uh, there's a meaning and a name. So it's like a little baby that's been born and then um, I think we must work together so that we can get this baby to grow big and strong. I was like, no, we don't write change. But <laughs> the minute that we that the name came up, it just jumped into my heart. Freedom. Um, the gates of praise we already had. I mean, we it's in our DNA and we love worship. So I just think that this is a new gift that God has given us. Freedom and we are really going to enjoy it. We are very excited. Yeah. Hope you're going to be as well. Yeah. We're so excited about this new season the church is in. God has just been so faithful to us as a church, just leading us to grow in faith. And now even in this new season, with the name change to Freedom Gate, I really believe there's a prophetic statement to that, that people in this church will actually experience the freedom of God and step into that. I'm super excited about the name change. For me, Freedom Gate is freedom and worship how um, we just have the ability to worship God freely and yeah so for me Freedom Gate I love it I'm so excited about it really excited about it I'm looking forward to see what is it that is going to happen with this church I know that nothing is going to change with our worship and with our everything but yes we've changed our name for the new season for the new generation to come. Excited. So for me, simply, we're staying relevant with God. We've prayed through this. We've gone through it as a, as a team and that we are very excited. Well, I am personally very excited about the name change and I think we all need to get behind it and go really tackle it and go for it. 2020 is a year of abundance. It's a year of a double portion. You cannot grow without change. Freedom gates, two words. Freedom is a life of abundance. Gate is an open invitation to come and meet Jesus on a deeper level. Come and taste and see that the Lord is good. I'm excited about the new name change that is coming. And it's a word that came through from David last year saying the church is, is going to see breakthrough. It's starting. I'm excited to see what, what other freedom is going to come through this name change. I think the new name reflects what we want the world to know, which is that Jesus died for our freedom, and freedom is something that we all want. We are super excited about this name change. As names change, things happen. When God changed Abraham and Sarah's names, He wasn't redefining who they were. He was redefining their future. God is not changing who we are. He's redefining our future. Freedom Gate Church, we bless you. Be a powerful representation of an all-powerful king and his kingdom in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We're changing the name from Gates of Praise to Freedom Gates Church. Isn't that exciting? This is exciting because of what it means to us individually and what it means to us as a church and the mission that God wants to fulfill in us as we continue to walk with him. Freedom Gates!